Hey everybody, it's Nick Baldwin, MAPS coach, KW agent. I am here with a brand new command video for you guys. Recently, KW completely overhauled social media campaigns within command. And for those of you who are confused, you're not really sure what to do, I'm gonna jump on in and show you exactly how to create an effective Facebook campaign. It's actually a lot easier than it was before fewer steps, which makes it better for you. So let's jump on in and I'll show you exactly how to do it. We're in campaigns and I have selected to create a new campaign and I'm gonna do a paid ad, all right? So that's the first step I'm gonna take. Then when campaigns opens, I am going to see a lot of different options here. You'll also be able to see here that you can now create ads on TikTok, which is pretty awesome too. We're not gonna get into that today. We'll do that in another video but you have a listing, multi-listing, which allows you to advertise more than one at a time. You have a non-listing, which maybe you wanna advertise specific homes for sale in a certain area. And that's exactly what we are gonna do, all right? But up here, you can see different objectives. So all objectives generate traffic to your website, which doesn't capture leads, generate contacts, which does. So we're gonna click that and we're going to choose non-listing for Facebook and Instagram. Here we go, you can see it looks very, very different and it's a lot easier to navigate. So you'll see how quickly this takes. Now you have to connect your Facebook page to command campaign. So if you've already done that, you are way ahead of the game, just go into settings and then connect it there. So my Facebook page, I'm gonna use the Keller Williams app Facebook page, and I am going to use a postal code for Bloomfield, New Jersey, and I'm gonna target a 20 mile radius because I know that most of my buyers are gonna be coming from that 20 mile radius for Bloomfield, New Jersey. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use an image, you can use a video also, but I'm going to use an image that I created specifically in designs. And I'm gonna click on select from media library and my design image is right here. Homes for sale in Bloomfield, New Jersey. I've chosen a house that looks like it could be a potential house in Bloomfield. And I've just got nice, big, bold white lettering over that image. And it looks very eye-catching. All right, now we're gonna go down to the body of your text. Don't get too overly dramatic and overly complicated. So I'm just gonna say search for homes in the beautiful town of Bloomfield, New Jersey, just a 30 minute train ride to Midtown Manhattan. All right. So I'm just letting people know that they can take a train. A lot of our buyers in Bloomfield are commuters and they work in New York City. So I'm gonna use a little emoji and I'm gonna just use a thumbs up. Maybe I'll put a little smiley face over here and let me just click on the smiley face. Headline, search for homes here. Now we can see over here on the right-hand side, everything is populating, okay? Search for homes in the beautiful town of Bloomfield, New Jersey. Oh my gosh, look at that. I didn't even realize those emojis were there. So I'm actually gonna get rid of those emojis. Maybe I can put a house. I'll do a house. That actually makes more sense. There we go. Let me make sure this looks good. All right, everything's ready to go there. So you can see over here on the right-hand side, search for homes in the beautiful town of Bloomfield, New Jersey. It's a 30 minute train ride to Midtown Manhattan. And this is my headline, search for homes here. And when they click learn more, they'll get the lead generation form pop up. Now I have to put a URL. You can do a landing page as well, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna do a URL. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my KW website and I'm gonna type in the town of Bloomfield 07003. And when it opens up that page on my site, I'm going to, I don't wanna show every single home. I wanna set my price point. So let's say I wanna start them at 449 and I only want them to see homes with three or more bedrooms and I only want houses. I don't want, um, I don't want condos. Oops, I didn't press, that's my bad. And apply, all right. So then we're gonna take this link. So we're gonna copy this link and we're gonna go back over to campaigns 
and we're going to drop it right here. Okay. And now what's great is you can pre preview the URL to make sure that it works. So I'm just going to click preview and it does work. We can see that my filters have, and so here are the houses for sale within those price points right now in Bloomfield, New Jersey. All right, now I'm going to use uh, tags. So when my leads come in, I'm going to want to tag them so I can know where to find them later. So I've got Bloomfield, uh, New Jersey is a tag I want to use, but I don't have that tag. So I'm just going to create as a new tag. And maybe I also want to use um, the tag for lead. All right. So when these, when these leads come in, I'll know that it was a lead and I'll know that they came in on a Bloomfield, New Jersey, Facebook campaign. This is where you would add your smart plan. So if you want automated follow-up, you just choose it here from your list of smart plans that you want to use and just easily click that one that you, that you, that you want it, that you want to, um, the one that you want to deploy when the leads come in so they can get automated follow-up. All right, so this is just the DBA logo. You can see here on the bottom right-hand corner of the ad, that's that's what that means. So now we're going to proceed to the last step, and this is how much you're going to spend and how long it's going to run. All right, so let's just say we're going to start it today on the 29th, and we're going to run it for, uh, let's say we're going to run it for a week. So let's say we're going to run it to the 7th. That's about seven or eight days, and we're going to do our budget here. So um, this shows you how, this is how much you're going to spend on a daily basis. So let's say we're going to do $10 a day. Oops. Hold on. Is it, you're not, oh, you got to do, let's say, oh no, total budget. I'm sorry. So let's say I want to spend $50 or let's say I want to send $70. So I want to spend like 10 bucks a day would be, uh, $80. So this is eight days up here and $10 a day would be $80. Okay. So I'm spending $10 a day. I'm spent spending a full uh, total of $80, or you can use this sliding scale like I did. And then of course your Visa card, you're going to click purchase now, and then you're going to get a notification in a few hours or up to 24 hours that your campaign has launched. And you can see it over here that your ad has, you can see what your ad's going to look like on someone's mobile phone. All right. It looks really nice. Search for the homes in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Beautiful Bloomfield, just 30-minute train ride to Midtown Manhattan. That's super simple, guys. You don't have to choose your targeting options, like your demographics, like you did before, your interests. You don't have to do that anymore. Facebook will automatically do that for you. It knows that you're going after potential home buyers, so it will put your ad in front of people that they know it, definitely want to see it. All right, well, I hope that this, this was an educational and informative video for you. Go ahead, create some campaigns. If you don't have listings, do what I did, homes for sale in, and then ex follow exactly how I set that up and you should be golden. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have an amazing day.